Hey, what's going on guys? JC here. What I'm bringing you guys today is a quick tutorial on how to get Daisy expansion onto your server. Um, we're going to be using Muddy Waters Gaming Server Management for the tutorial. Um, so this will work for this. It'll basically work for any server host. So Daisy expansion can be a bit tricky uh, to get into your servers. A lot of people seem to have issues with it. So what I'm going to do is just a quick video. Uh, we're going to walk you through it, how to get it onto your server, how to get everything running and we'll go from there. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to your Steam Workshop and we're gonna type in Daisy Expansion. And then we're gonna figure out which uh, expansion we want. What I like to do is I like to go to All Time and then here's all of them. So if you want to have the bundle, uh, if we go to more information, the bundle pretty much has, let's come to Items. It's got the AI, the bundle itself though, let's come back here shows us what the bundle had. The bundle basically has everything. Group parties, territories, uh, has the airdrops, the weapons, the base building, uh, the vehicles, the reimagined Chinar. So it has the updated um, or and like the added assets, all of that kind of stuff. So if you want to do the bundle, me personally, I don't like the bundle. I like to kind of cherry pick what I want. But if you want the bundle, that pretty much redoes your entire game or your entire server to be Daisy expansion. But for what I'm gonna do is let's just do something what most people, excuse me, actually like. So what we're gonna do is let's just say we want uh, Daisy helicopters on our server. So we're gonna install this. And it's also going to install everything that Daisy expansion vehicles needs. So I'll put a little image on the screen right now. And this is basically what you need to follow for what mods are required for which part of um, expansion. So some some mods are dependent of others. Uh, some you can only get away with just a few. So what we're gonna do is what I like to do is I just like go to Daisy Expansion Vehicles. We're gonna install this mod. It'll install all of the dependency mods and then we will move on and uh, go about getting it set up. Alrighty, so once all mods have been installed, you'll see that we got core, licensed animations vehicles and dabs framework so these are kind of like the core mods that are in that are like are required and then the animations even though it says it's required i feel that it's kind of optional but it's it's best to do it because it actually shows your guys holding the uh like holding the helicopter controls or holding the boat controls so on and so forth so that's our step we've already we just installed all of the mods onto our server the next step that I would recommend doing now, this isn't mandatory, but I would strongly recommend doing this. You're going to come to your missions folder. Uh, for this instance, we're just going to set up Chinaris. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to compress this file. And then we're going to download this Daisy offline zip right here. So let's download it. So now that we've downloaded the Daisy offline zip file, we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click it. We're going to extract it to its folder. Refresh our desktop. We're going to open this up and then here's our Daisy offline mission. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this to expansion .chinaris plus. Now, once that's done, what we're going to do is we can actually delete this little, actually we can delete the zip file. We don't need it no more. So now we're going to upload. We're going to select a folder. We're going to go to the folder right here. The one that we've just extracted. We're going to upload it and we're going to go through and we're going to upload all of these files. So the reason why we want to have a separate missions file or a separate missions folder for expansion is whenever steam does an update, um, what it, what it tends to do now is it overrides and it overwrites your default mission files. So if you're, if you're not using Chinaris or Livonia, say you're using Banov or Deer Isle or, Barrington, something like that, it's not going to affect you because the, the Steam update only affects the vanilla mission files. But if you are going to be using your vanilla mission files, which is Livonia or Chinaris, I highly, highly recommend you do this step because it'll just prevent all of your stuff from being overwritten by the update. All right, so once all files have been successfully uploaded, we're just gonna check it. Just make sure everything's in your database folder, make sure everything's in your environment folder. Uh, the storage folder doesn't mean anything. We can delete this because we want it to be a fresh map. 
and pretty much all of our files are here. So we're good. The next step is we're going to go to our configuration files. We're going to go to our main configuration of your server and you're going to name this expansion. Oh, right here. What am I doing? Let's type in here. Expansion dot uh, plus. So now that we have expansion dot plus called out, essentially what this is going to do is this is going to make our mission files run this right here. So this will be like the map that we're running. So you can do this with Banov, you can do this with Enoch, you can do this with any of them. But like I said, if you're not using the vanilla folders, then you really don't need to. I just think that this is really good practice. I do it with all of my servers. So once we get that changed over, we're gonna come to the, the expansion workshop and we're gonna go to the installation guides because there are some things that we need to grab. We're going to grab right here, the mission files. So once you're going to get here, you're just gonna to go to code and you're going to download the zip. Now I already have all of these zip files downloaded. So I will show you what that looks like once you get it. Let's go to our community server and you're going to get right here, your Daisy expansion missions master. You're gonna open up your template. As you can see, there's already templates for pretty much the most popular maps. So you're going to go to Chinaris cause that's what we're doing. Now, let me drag this over to my other screen. We're gonna come back to our missions folder and you'll see we have an expansion, expansion CE, our economy core on our event spawns. So we're going to drag over our expansion CE into our main folder. So once that's done, if we just open it up, this is our events, our spawnable types and our regular types. So now if we open up this economy core right here, what this is going to do is we're just gonna copy from here. We can close this file and we're gonna come into our economy core.xml. We're gonna come under our uh, closed defaults bracket and we're just gonna paste this right here. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to go into our event spawns. So if we open up this folder, it tells you basically copy from here and we're going to copy all the way to here. Now this is if you want the helicopters and all of the new cars like to be spawning. So we're gonna to come to our event spawns. Let's just come to right here. We're gonna paste it and we're gonna save and exit. And then once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and start our server. So once our server is started and it's up and running, you'll notice in our instance folder, you're gonna actually have a new folder here called expansion mod. And inside this expansion mod, you're going to get settings for whatever mod you're running of expansion. So if you were to have uh, the Daisy AI, you would have AI settings in here. If you were to be using the trader, you would have market settings. If you were to be using um, the navigation, you would have map settings, so on and so forth. So basically anytime you install a new uh, expansion mod, you're going to get settings for those mods. Being that we only have the vehicles in here, uh, we get the base settings and we're gonna have vehicle settings. This is where you can uh, turn off vehicle damage. You can have them lock picks, so on and so forth. Also in our missions folder itself, we now have a new expansion thing, which is gonna have just a few more settings. You don't have to really worry about your safe zone settings unless like I said, you're running um, the market mod or you're running hard line and you wanna have like factions and safe zones and all that. You don't have to worry about this. So at this point, we can go ahead and we can go into the game. So now that we're in game, we turn on our admin tools and we can notice that if we go to our XML editor, we have all of our expansion stuff is now showing up, which means the mod is actually loaded and we are running expansion helicopters only. So let's look for a, um, what are they? I think it's a helicopter battery, right? Uh, helicopter battery. Let's see if there's any of them spawning. As we can see, we have 21 helicopter batteries spawning. So essentially at this point, the mod is loaded. Um, we can come over here. Let's go ahead and close down our cool windows. Look this way. Uh, let's go to item spawner. Let's type in an MH6. Um, there's one right
right here. Let's go over to at crosshair, double click. As you can see, we have helicopters in the game. So that is essentially how you install and you get expansion mod to be running on your server. Now, if you want to adjust the types, if you want to control what's spawning, of course, what we're going to do is you go into your database folder. But if you're trying to change what spawns for expansion stuff, you're going to go into your expansion CE, not your normal database. So go into your expansion CE. We can go to types. This is where you would adjust all of your type files for the stuff that is expansion only. If you want no helicopters spawning whatsoever, you want them only to be in the trader, you're going to come down here to bump, 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 go to the helicopters. You're going to come to the helicopters events, and then you're just going to set these to zero. And then what this will eventually essentially do is no helicopters will spawn on the map whatsoever. Uh, same thing if you want, you know, if you don't want boats, uh, you turn the boats off as well. If, like I said, this is mainly if you're just wanting uh, to use a trader to buy your kind of stuff like that. And that is essentially it. You would save, you would uh, wipe your server at this point, and then restart your server. Because once you turn the server on with those events active, the helicopters are going to be there. Wipe your server, uh, turn the server back on, and you will no longer have helicopters spawning. And that's that, guys. It's It seems like a lot, but it's actually really, really, really simple to install expansion mod onto your servers, especially using Muddy Waters Game Service Management. Um, it just makes it so, so easy. So hopefully that helped you guys. If it did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you'd like. Um, let me know if you guys have any other questions. I will do my best to try and help you. Um, feel free to join the Discord. Um, there's a lot of helpful people in there as well. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Love you, bye.